The lead investigator on the Karen Reed murder case is now the subject of an internal investigation by the Massachusetts State Police. Thanks for staying up with us. I'm Priscilla Casper. And I'm Glenn Jones. The, prosecutors, the prosecution is clouded in controversy. The feds have been investigating the prosecution's case for months, and now state troopers are looking into one of their own. Michael Proctor, our Kirsten Glavin, is live tonight at the courthouse. Kirsten, it's rare to see the state face as much scrutiny as the defendant, but that is where we are. Yeah, that's right. This really does appear to fall in line with the police cover up argument we've heard from Karen Reed's defense. We now know that Michael Proctor, the lead investigator on this case, is now under investigation himself. But details from law enforcement tonight are limited. Massachusetts State Police confirming an internal investigation into one of their own. Trooper Michael Proctor now under the microscope for a potential violation of department policy, but remaining on full duty. The department did not comment on a specific incident. Who do they send? But Michael Proctor. But in court on Tuesday, Proctor's personal relationships with those involved in the ongoing Karen Reed murder case were brought up often. Proctor was the lead investigator. There is a level of closeness that cannot be overstated. Reed is accused of hitting her boyfriend, Boston police officer John O'Keefe, with an SUV in 2022. Reed's defense attorney, Alan Jackson, citing an independent federal investigation. He claims there were texts between Proctor, his sister, and members of the Albert family who lived at the home where O'Keefe's body was found. Proctor was allegedly asking the Alberts to babysit. Michael Proctor is so connected to the Alberts that he was entrusting them or willing to entrust the Alberts to be caregivers for his toddler child. Three days after O'Keefe's death, Tex allegedly stayed the Alberts offered to send Proctor a thank you gift. So now we have the lead investigator from Massachusetts State Police literally discussing the exchange of gifts between the Albert family on the one hand and the Proctor family on the other hand as a thank you, their words, for helping the Alberts out of a jam. NBC 10 Boston spoke with one law expert who says this is a clear conflict of interest. I think that when you have the lead investigator who allegedly found all of these uh, most critical pieces of evidence to be compromised due to his uh, personal relationship with the Albert family whose home it was, um, there's gonna be a lot of problems at trial for that, for the Commonwealth. Now, we did reach out to the State Police Association of Massachusetts about these developments. They declined to comment. We also reached out to Karen Reed's attorneys tonight. They didn't get back to us. But just in right now, we are also learning that there is going to be a protest scheduled tomorrow outside of the Norfolk District Attorney's Office at 3 o'clock. That's in light of all of these recent developments that have come out in the past few days. So more on this to come. But for now, that's the latest live outside of Norfolk Superior Court tonight. I'm Kirsten Glavin, NBC10 Boston. Boston.